you're about to be shocked. We're going to show you one of the best Disney dining experiences and food in all of Disney World. We're here in Hollywood Studios, and trust me when I say, Minnie's Hollywood and Vine is totally different than it has been in the past. You're gonna be shocked by the amazing food. Salmon, beurre blanc, pork belly that melts in your mouth. Absolutely one of the greatest dining experiences and character dining, which usually never go hand in hand. But here at LBV TV, we love showing you the tips and tricks and those hidden gems that again, most people don't know about. This has all been done up and new for this year and they really went all out on the menu. We're also doing the Fantasmic Dining Package. So we're gonna show you how that works as well here in Hollywood Studios and Disney World and why this is a must do that most people usually skip thinking it used to be the way it was very different now. So excited, let's go in. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Did you do it? Did you do it? Trust me, you're not going to miss all the fun we have. Hit that notifications bell too. And today is a very special day because it is my friend Ashley's birthday. She came all the way from Philadelphia. And you guys know our friend Christina. And uh, we started off with sangria. Let's see if it's any good. It's just, it's just regular sangria. What do you guys think? So it's a very limited cocktail menu. You're not coming here for the cocktails. Just like beer and sangria and like this. That's it. So you're coming here for the food and the characters like Mickey. Mickey. He's so cute. Look at him. Look at him. Oh my goodness. Oh, I got a kiss from Mickey. You look amazing. Can we get your outfit? Look at him. How dapper. Look at him. Oh my goodness. Change your outfit. Even the bread is fancy. They got Spitzweck rolls, mini pita bread. They have herb focaccia. I know, look, focaccia croutons. And the fixins for the ultimate salad. Even with a red pepper hummus, as well as plain hummus, crumbled feta, shaved onions. Again, you can make your own Greek salad here. Fancy Parmesan cheese, cut up cucumbers, cherry tomatoes. Then there's even vegetarian chili and chicken noodle soup. And then you could even make your own fruit salad. How incredible is this? Plus a kale, apple, and cranberry salad. That is amazing. We've had it before. As well as peel your own shrimp. Wow, even couscous with cilantro, lime. There's even oil and vinegar if you want to add to your food. There's even sour cream and whipped chive potatoes. This is the salmon beurre blanc I was talking about. Absolutely amazing. Roasted pork with spicy mustard. Then there's food I can't pronounce. Poulet marine au four baked marinated chicken. And it's part of Celebrate Soulfully. Baked marinated chicken with green uh, peppers, red peppers, and onions. And these items will change. Now this is one of my favorites. I came here just for this. The macaroni and cheese with shrimp and bacon. And there are four different types of cheeses in this. Absolutely delicious. There's also a pot roast with root vegetables. So fancy. Beef balls with barbecue and pineapple? What? Caramelized Brussels sprouts that were so delicious the last time we were here. And we're still going. Roasted butternut squash that melts in your mouth. Good old rice. Olive oil crushed potatoes. Crispy tofu with Asian glaze. So again, this is an area that's great for people with plant-based diet needs. Spring peas and pearl onions, broccoli and carrots, roasted potatoes. There is even a strip loin, and look how tender that looks. Again, she's cutting it and it's just falling off the bone there. Absolutely delicious, look at that. Just, oh my goodness. And of course, for even the pickiest of kids or adults, there is an awesome kids menu here. Can't go wrong with chicken nuggets, mini corn dogs, potato barrels, as well as mac and cheese, baked chicken, green beans, and even a penny pasta marinara. So no matter your age or your taste, there's something for everybody. So I was just saying, I think you are the best dad ever. Best dad ever. Because think about it. You, you took a, you made sure you went to school, you took care of them, you can dance. Perfect. Always your son first. There it is. Good 
dad, he knows, to keep it, you know, keep it together while how famous you guys get. We got a good parent. Everything works out. I love you so much. Impressive. The bad you can do. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's too cute. Goofy, you even. <gasps> Oh my goodness, Goofy, you're breaking hearts today. So to start off with, I got my favorite, the salmon beurre blanc, with the mac and cheese, with the shrimp and the bacon and the four different cheeses, and the sweet potatoes. And I got some of the chef selection and the uh, pot roast. So you might already follow us on our other channel, LBBTV, which we go live on, but we used to do vlogs there. Now we separated them. There's 25,000 over there. And we're just starting vlogs only on this one. And if you saw our old vlog with our friend Jenna from Resort TV One, you know we were gonna come here just for this macaroni and cheese. Mm. Absolutely amazing. Best mac and cheese on property. So again, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button here because you may be thinking, am I on the other live stream? Channel? No, it's just live streams over there now. But man, that mac and cheese, when I say best on Disney property, I mean the whole Disney World property. I don't know about Disneyland, I'll have to go try Disneyland. But this is definitely the best mac and cheese, the shrimp, the different four cheeses. Guys, even the ribs are super soft and moist. I have to say, for a buffet, I wasn't expecting that. Somebody's giving Woody's Roundup a run for their money. Did you see that vlog? You know what I'm saying? And if you haven't seen that Woody's Roundup vlog, let's just say, Minnie, go help, go help Andy cook. <laughs> What did you like? And you don't I, eat meat. I do not eat meat. I eat this, but I really like the crispy toast. It's delicious. What was your favorite? I really liked the mac and cheese. I think that was my favorite. The salmon was also very good. Yeah, that's my go-to. A party's happening. Oh, look at those dance moves. Oh my goodness. Hey, Mickey. Oh, we love you. Yes. All right, I would come here for the dance party. Oh my oh. god. Goofy! Oh my goodness! I know we're gonna see you in a parade. I bet. Look at look at those moves. We haven't met many yet, but let me just say, the care. I would come here just for the little dance party they do. So, no joke. I I was told about this, and I was like, they dance? Yeah. Oh my goodness. I would, even if the food was bad, I would come for the the, the goofy performance. I said, guys. I don't know, he's, he might need his own diner. I think he needs his own restaurant. Oh my goodness, Sticky! Oh, best day ever. Oh, oh I got the best hug in here for my, okay, by the way, so Minnie, right now, we're filming a vlog. I told everybody, I'm not kidding, I told everybody the best food in Disney World property, I'm not joking, is here. I know. Oh, so cute. Amazing. The best. I know you. You treated up so well. Oh, thank you, Mickey. Thank you, Pluto. Whoa. Oh, so oh, oh, best kisses ever. I know. You're making it really hard for me not to take you home. I know, I know. We're fun. <laughs> so many But truly, <laughs> amazing. Oh, but he's so cute. I'm gonna come back all the time now. That was amazing. First I was like, oh, we're 
Minnie's got to run for money with Goofy. Then I was like, oh my god, Pluto! I think Pluto needs his own restaurant. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Goofy, Pluto. I know Mickey already has his own restaurant, Chef Mickey's. But does Pluto and Goofy need their own? I think after that, Minnie's getting the dessert party started with the ultimate soft serve ice cream and make your own sundae. Look at this. Now, if you know Disney World, you know it is not a restaurant unless they got bread pudding. Where is all this bread coming from? Let me know in the comments. It's really good, but you know why the bread. But who doesn't like bread pudding? Let me know in the comments, do you? We have an apple crisp here that looks amazing. Here, a cupcake with cheese icing, a peanut butter jelly tart, look at this. And then the candy magic bar looks amazing. All right, the fan favorite everybody's been going for is the Mississippi mud pie. Oh my goodness. All right, I think that's what I'm gonna be doing. All right, so I got the Mississippi mud pie and we were filming for uh, our social media. And you know, I'm always excited about desserts. But holy moly, this might be one of the best desserts I've had on Disney Park. What in the world? I'm not gonna lie. Look, you think of buffet, you think mm, it's gonna be like dry, having some taste like overheated, overcooked. They're keeping with it that it's still quality dining, even with the change with the buffet. And the new foods there is amazing. Trust me, the old desserts. So good. Again. This is not hosted, is it? I came here to show you guys why this is shockingly delicious. Yes, you're in a diner, but man, do you feel like you're having five-star treatment with the characters, with the food, amazing desserts and more. Oh my goodness, how cute. Amazing. That was so cool. So I've never, ha I mean, again, the character dining there is incredible. Now we're running to Fantasmic. Uh, we have about 30 minutes before the show, so let's see what kind of seat we get. This will help you for your Disney World vacation planning if you do a dining package, how this will work or not work, tips and tricks against seeing does this go out well for us or not, so you're gonna keep wanting to watch. 30 minutes, right? That's good enough, right? I have eaten at some of the best restaurants in Disney World. I've done character dining. I have to say, I think that is the perfect mix of everything, Disney magic, Disney characters, and impeccable food. Honestly, that's the same salmon you get at the Brown Derby, but you get the goofy dancing for you. Guys, what did you think of the character dining? It was so, so much fun. fun. Right? <laughs> now, also, you've eaten that character dining before, and it's usually really cool. Yeah, it's true. This was like super special. The characters are amazing. Amazing. Yeah. So good. And did you have fun? So much fun. So much fun. And remember, that was only $60 for unlimited food. With the dining and your annual pass, discount can go towards it, cutting it cost-wise. I personally think if you're gonna go to Brown Derby, you're gonna spend that amount. So if you care about characters, you want something special, with Five Star Dining and Fantasmic, I, I think it's a no-brainer for all that you got. Again, high-end food. Like I said, that salmon alone, that they sell exactly the same at Brown Derby, costs $38. Bam, just saying. You're welcome to disagree with me. Let me know in the comments if you think what you saw is worth it um, based on uh, past dining experiences, but also if you've actually dined recently, because it's very different, it's very different. Make sure to check out our other vlog of the Fantasmic Dining Package from 50's Prime Time. I think the Minis experience is more worth it, the quality of food, um, and this time we actually showed up earlier. We're now inside Fantasmic's uh, walkthrough area at around it's 8 p.m. So we're about 30 minutes early. I wonder if that means things will be different. In that other vlog, we showed up literally last minute because we were having too much fun. Make sure to go check out that vlog. Trust me, we had a crazy time at the 50s prime time. When I say things got a little nuts, I started singing, we danced, I got yelled at. It's worth, it's worth watching. And if you love to laugh, all of our vlogs are really funny because I'm a goofball. Can you tell? So make sure to go binge watch some of those older vlogs if you miss them. Even the merch vlogs. If you don't care about merch, trust me, you're gonna watch just the lab. I wanna see y'all dancing. Yeah. Guys, nobody's here. This is really weird. Like, well, and nobody's here. We're really early, baby? We have awesome seats, guys. Look at this. But again, we came half an hour early, but you didn't need to. All right, so it's 8 p.m. and there's like literally nobody here in the dining package area. Do I think you need to be here at 8 p.m. rushing this is spring break time? I thought you did. No, you're good. 
Literally, you can show up, I think, like we did in that other Fantasmic Dining video here in Hollywood Studios in Disney World. Literally show up last minute, and it was fine. No problem. The wave's coming. The wave's coming. Oh. So this happened last time. Do you guys see the lights starting? People took out their phones and like a lighter at a concert started waving their phones as lights as you could do it. People right now are waving their phones and lights. Oh, it's so cool. It's like a concert. I might be able to see it over here. Oh, I think it's fantastic time. It's definitely worth it if you really want the best seats in the house. And let me know in the comments what you thought of Minnie's Hollywood and Vine Dine experience, the food, the characters, and more. Again, chat amongst yourselves and me. There's no right or wrong answer. Today was so much fun, and it's never a dull moment on our channel, so make sure to watch all those other vlogs I was telling you about because we get into some crazy shenanigans, but also really memorable moments, funny moments, as well as these heartfelt memories I'll always cherish and I'm so glad I get to share them with you. I'm Marie with LBB TV and here on our channel we never say goodbye because when there is magic and amazing moments to be had, it's only gonna be. See you real soon.